What's up, everybody? Remington from Impulse Creative. And today we're going to talk about something super important, GDPR, and how to make sure that your Drift account is in compliance. So Drift just came out with a new data privacy feature that allows for you to request consent from contacts. And what I'm going to do is show you how to set this up and jump right into asking for consent. Before I do that, though, I want to I want to talk about a little bit about what GDPR is. So GDPR is a general data protection regulation, and it's a new European Union regulation, which has been enacted as of May 25th to enhance the protection of personal data to all European citizens. Its goal is to increase the obligations and the organizations who collect and process personal data of European citizens. Regardless of your client base, if you're collecting data from lead forms or Drift chats, your website has to comply with these regulations. With Drift, they've been working really hard to implement some new features, and this one just showed up in the portal this morning. So when you jump into Drift, you're going to want to dig into the settings tab and you can get to the settings in the bottom left and you can go to my settings. Once you go to my settings, you're going to want to click settings and then you'll jump into data privacy. You'll see that at the bottom of the list. Once you get into the data privacy screen, you'll notice that there's a required consent form and then there's consent forms down below. So the first thing you have to do is you have to create a new consent form, which is going to go through and ask some questions. So once you've done that, you'll see you've got your consent message, which is the actual message that you're going to share with the contact. You're going to want to make sure that you provide a link to your privacy policy. And of course, you are set up your privacy policy link text, the actual text that would be there. You'll have your both your opt in and opt out buttons. So if someone opts in, then they're agreeing that they're going to comply with your um, usage. And if they opt out, then they're saying that they're not interested right now. You'll also have an opt-in confirmation, and this is all going to come through in the little Drift chat widget. So you can also set the opt-out confirmation. You want to make sure this is nice and friendly and very conversational. And then, of course, there's another button there to view the opt-in again. So if someone opts out, but then they want to engage you in a Drift chat, then they can go ahead and click, as I've put it here, review our terms. So once you've gone through and you've added all these items, you can click save and then you'll have the option to require consent from and people in the European Union or everyone. So it's a great idea to make sure that you've got this and you're in compliance with people in the EU. But in the future, I could see legislation coming through while we'll have to do this in the US. So for now, you can set it to only happen to people in the European Union. You can click save and now you're all set. You don't have to worry about compliance from the Drift tool. They will have another tool that allows for you to manage data, which will allow for you to delete and completely flush stuff out. Um, I will demo that in another video. But that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can tag me on Twitter at, at @remingtonbeg. If you'd like to see some other tutorials we've done, you can go ahead and you can do that here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our videos, you can go ahead and do that right here. Until next time, I'm Remington from Impulse Creative. Have a great day.